Hello friends, my name is Ashish and today we will be talking about breast cancer. Breast cancer. It is uh, divided into basically three types. Non-invasive, invasive and Paget's disease. Okay. In non-invasive type, we have ductal carcinoma in situ, also called intraductal carcinoma, lobular carcinoma in situ, LCIS. Uh, <clears throat> in uh, invasive type, we have uh, infiltrating duct carcinoma, infiltrating lobular carcinoma, tubular carcinoma, medullary carcinoma, colloid carcinoma and some other types include papillary carcinoma, adenoid cystic carcinoma, metaplastic carcinoma so this is the basic uh, classification or of the types of breast cancer we'll be talking about non-invasive type this part basically so in non-invasive we start with the ductal carcinoma in c2 that is dcis ductal carcinoma in c2 it is also called intra ductal carcinoma okay so basically it is Malignant clonal proliferation of uh, epithelial cell limited to ducts and tubules by basement membrane. So, basically, in C2 means this is the basement membrane. These are the cells. So, when this proliferation is limited to this is the clonal proliferation of uh, ductal and lobular cells limited to ducts and lobules by basement membrane that is why it is called in situ otherwise it would have been invasive okay now why it is called ductal because when it involves lobules, the expanded SNI resembles that of duct. This is why it is called ductal. Because it is in that it is only present in ducts and not in lobules. When the SNI expand, it appears that of duct. Because of the appearance, we have classified it into ductal and lobular. Okay. So it was the basic of it. Now it can spread throughout breast okay? spread throughout breast okay and uh, it is most often detected by mammography okay mammography 95% of the cases it is detected by mammography because it is a palpable mass okay it forms a palpable mass and uh, this palpable mass is because of calcification calcification associated with secretory material and necrosis okay and uh, rarely okay there is discharge from necros okay so now talking about uh, treatment generally 
surgical excision excision with radiation therapy radiation therapy is treatment for it okay and uh, if left untreated if left untreated uh one percent of uh, low grade tumor or say dcis it can progress to ipsilateral invasive carcinoma invasive carcinoma okay ipsilateral means on the same side of the breast not the other way okay so if if it is there it will spread to some other part of this and it will be invasive it, it is there very rare chance of spreading into the contralateral side all right and uh, mesectomy is cured in 95 percent of the cases so, morphology. morphology wait i'll write it here <clears throat> morphology in morphology we, we see the gross and microscopic okay so in gross it can be seen as a small dot small dot to 3.3 to 5 centimeter diametric mass okay and the cut section on cut section uh, it appears as cystically dilated ducts okay cystically dilated ducts with cheesy necrotic material okay with cheesy necrotic material all right and in microscopic there are two types of patterns which is very important comedo and non comedo non comedo okay so basically what is this we'll discuss it comedo and non comedo basically it is a pattern in comedo pattern there is a centrally placed necrotic material surrounded by tumor cells this is comedo okay centrally placed necrotic material and uh, debris surrounded by these are the neoplastic cell or the tumor cell all right this is the comedo in non comedo type we have three other types like first is solid i'll draw the diagram of it in solid it is this entire duct or lobule whatsoever it is it is plugged by the neoplastic cells okay the second type is uh, papillary i'll draw just draw the diagram papillary form okay this is the only space and rest of the portion is occupied by the uh, tumor cell the third type is cribriform cribriform okay in cribriform type there are fenestrations or holes in the lobules and you know neat punched fenestrations in introductory tumor so these are the morphologic features now moving on to the next type that is <clears throat> lobular carcinoma in situ intralobular carcinoma so in situ we already know why lobular okay first of all let us define it okay it is there are some characteristic features that needs to be mentioned here first of all it is the clonal proliferation of cell within the ducts and lobule which grow in this cohesive manner what is this cohesive manner it means the cells are not touched or you know they are not attached to each other 
due to the loss of tumor suppressive protein in gathering okay so this is important to mark due to loss of e gathering the cells are discohesive and this is characteristic feature we know it is a, a tumor so there is clonal proliferation of cell and a now the next thing why it is lobular lobular okay a lobular because when the cells expand they do not disrupt do not disrupt disrupt the uh, surrounding cells okay so when they are not disrupting the surrounding cell so the lobular architecture architecture is preserved okay and because the architecture is preserved it will appear like that of lobules so it is called lobular carcinoma now unlike ductal carcinoma it is uh, not palpable palpable or nodular findings okay so it is not palpable fine so it is almost an incidental finding incidental finding because it is not grossly visible right it is not grossly visible not palpable at all reason being there is no calcification the thing that happened in the dcis is in present okay so calcification is absent so it is not palpable and an incidental finding okay it cannot be detected in mammography also okay so <clears throat> uh there are 20 to 30% chances of uh, invasive carcinoma invasive carcinoma within a span of 20 to 30 years okay so it is a risk factor risk factor factor for invasive carcinoma but another characteristic feature that unlike dcis there are equal chances of contralateral carcinoma that is invasive carcinoma okay as well as epilateral epilateral invasive carcinoma okay so this was the basics of it now talking about the treatment basically the treatment is uh, done by bilateral uh, prophylactic mesectomy um, <clears throat> okay so bilateral prophylactic mesectomy okay so this is it talking about morphology there isn't okay so morphology in morphology grossly nothing is visible not palpable, palpable no gross visibilities and in histology there is characteristic histology of it okay in histology there is filling up of terminal ducts and lobules okay terminal ducts and lobule with uh, round and uniform loosely cohesive cohesive cells having round nuclei and distinct cytoplasmic margins cytoplasmic margin so this is all about uh, non-invasive carcinoma thank you